Hey guys, in my last video, we spoke about the iLock, we spoke about other systems, and we also spoke about Waves leaving the iLock. Now, they finally came out with version 9. They're not using the iLock anymore. If you upgrade your plugins, they have this whole new system. If you're new to Waves, I'm about to show you this whole new system. I think this system is pretty cool. The only complaints I'm hearing is the fact that you have to walk with another USB drive. Now, personally, I have my iLock, I have a flash drive that I use, you know, for personal reasons or when I go fixing computers. So I guess this will be the third thing I'm going to have to walk around with. If I want to go to another studio or friend's home and I want to use my Waves plugins, I have to use the iLock to authorize Pro Tools or whatever plugins that I own. Then I have to use the other uh, USB drive for uh, Waves 9. But you know what? Hey, it is what it is. I think the new system is pretty cool. Let's dive into it. So over here, we have the Wave site. What you're gonna do is you're gonna log into your account. Once you're logged into your account, you're gonna see all the plugins you have. These are all my Waves plugins. As you can see, I don't have a lot of plugins, but I constantly use these plugins all the time. And if we look below this, you see some of the demos. And over here, I have one plugin that I didn't upgrade. Reason, I wanted to show you guys how to upgrade your plugins. So once you log in, and it's gonna show you how many plugins you got, and you're going to see version update or upgrade. If you have this update here, click it, get your upgrade. And trust me, you're not going to lose your iLock licenses. I still have mine. So if you do have version 8 and you don't see this update here, what you need to do is uh, go purchase a Waves update plan. I'm not going to get into that. But as you can see, this plugin right here ends 325.13. So all right, let's upgrade this plugin. So I'm going to go to update. So over here it says, dear customer, you're about to update your product to the latest version. Your current Waves products will appear in your account as individual licenses. So let's update product. And it's updating the plugin. There we go. I upgraded uh, my audio track plugin. Click finish. So now over here we have audio track native version 9 and if we look at the status not activated not activated not activated device nothing and basically it just shows me the waves uh, update plan and version update not available and it has upgrade here so let's minimize this so over here we're looking at the waves license center so when you install everything before you launch pro tools launch the Waves License Center and authorize a flash drive or your computer. So you have two ways to do this. You could uh, authorize your computer or a flash drive. Over here in Connected Device, you see Studio A, which is my system, or a flash drive. I can't use the flash drive at the moment. It's being used for something else. So I just want to authorize my system. So let's do that. So over here in Select Licenses, you want to click View All Licenses. And basically, it's showing you all the licenses that I have in the cloud. So want to select all of them let's double check make sure everything's selected and destination you want to select the destination i want to send it to studio a send licenses right now it's synchronizing all right so that's done now as you can see this change before everything was in the cloud now it's in studio a so all the plugins are authorized on my system so i can launch pro tools start mixing now, the cool thing about this, if my system crashes and I have to format, I could uh, reinstall everything, open the Waves License Center, reauthorize my plugins, and guess what? I don't lose an activation like other software. Now, let's say you use a flash drive. It breaks, it gets corrupted, you lose your licenses. You do have this uh, recover option here, but it's very important that you understand if you use this option and you recover all your plugins, you could only use this option once a year according to this. So if you think you can use this option a couple of times to authorize a couple of computers, they won't let you do that. They thought about that ahead of time. So you could use that option once a year. So you have to be very careful. If you're using that uh, flash drive, make sure you take good care of it. The good thing, it's free. It's not like the iLock. If you lose your iLock, you have to pay money in order to resolve that. So what do you guys think about all of this? You have your iLock. You have this new system, so you're going to have to walk with your iLock, walk with a flash drive that has all your Waves uh, authorizations. Then 
you probably also have propeller heads record, you have reason, and I believe now the new reason requires a new dongle. So you have to walk with that as well if you want to work with reason in a friend's house. It's crazy. We got to remember, iLock is not the only system. You have multiple systems out there, and I guess if you want to leave your house, you got to walk with all of this. So I don't know. In the bottom below, let me know what you think. Also, I want you to give this video a thumbs up, and I want you to click that subscribe button. At the same time, look at the description. There's going to be some information there. You can check me out on Google Plus and Twitter. I'm out of here. Later, guys.